In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly resize an image so that you can put it on your website. Now, this image in front of you is very large. If you look over here, it says 1800 by 1200 pixels. That is not going to fit on your web page. It's probably three times wider than what you have your browser set at. So what we want to do is be able to resize it. To do that, all you have to do is open it up in Paint, which is already installed on your Windows computer. You can go to your Start button and find it in Accessories, or if you have it up in the viewer like I do here, you can click on Open and then Paint. Okay, so here it is opened in Paint, and you'll notice that it's so big that we have to use these bars to look around at it. So what we can do is just go to Image and then go to Resize, and in here we have Percentages. So we have to make sure that we set them both the same. So we know that it's 1800 by 1200. If we wanted it 450, we need to make it 25% of the size. That's just simple math. So we'll say 25, click OK, and then we have that size of an image. Now, if that's still too big, we can go back in again, go to Resize, and you notice that it's gone back to 100%. Now, our dimensions are different. They're 25% of the, what they were before, but now this is 100% of the size of the picture. So if we made this 25% of the size, it's only going to be one quarter of this size. So what we want to do now is go to Image, go to Attributes, and we see that the image is now 450 by 300. So again, if we can do some math, if we wanted it at 225, then that is 50% of 450. So all we have to do is go back into image again, resize, and just 50%. Click OK, and now we have a small image again. And this is the size. It'll be 225, let's go to attributes, by 150 now. Now when you go to save it, don't just do a save, do a save as. Otherwise you'll overwrite your old picture, and then just put some digits behind it or an S or something to distinguish it from the picture that you were editing. Save. And now you have a smaller size of the picture you started with, and then this can easily be put on your website or emailed or whatever you want to do with it. 